Alright guys, welcome back to our Bannerlord playthrough. Hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, staying indoors, washing your hands. I hope you guys are ready for more medieval bloody action, because that's what we got today. Uh, so in the last episode, we conquered, as a faction, city after city, and... As a vassal, how many how many cities did we actually get to keep? Zero. We don't have any cities right now. And the reason for that is because our influence is too low. It's at 40. So today, we're going to focus on getting our influence at least to 100, 150. And just keep building up that influence. And hopefully, eventually, when we conquer a settlement as a faction, we'll get voted to have that faction. And then we could really start to make money and build caravans and build a big, powerful army. It's going to be awesome. So, yeah, that's the goal for today. Also, we're going to keep on working on Im improving our gold so we can get another workshop. And we'll have four workshops because currently we have, I believe, three so, yeah, and our linen workshop, it, it's not doing well. The carpentry ones are doing great, but 15, that's the best we got, 15? Yeah, it's not good enough, so we might change that, but we'll do that later, of course. Also, uh, just to give you a little world view here, uh, we're doing great against the Asari, but currently we're in a two-front war against the Badians and the Sturgians. Sturgians? Is that it? Sturgians? I never get the name wrong. I'll get it eventually, I swear. Uh, it, I'm a slow learner when it comes to names. Uh, but yeah, we got a two-front war. I'm not really too happy about that because we're split between two fronts and we've got a faction right here that only has a one front, which is their west. There's nothing east with these guys. You know, nobody's going to come over here and attack these guys. So they could easily come down and strike hard while we're busy fighting these other kingdoms. So I hope I hope we can get some peace treaties going and we can avoid that. Uh, so let me just go ahead and quickly explain how we're going to get influence. So influence, you can increase that three easy ways. So here's my three tips here, three tricks. Uh, so the first one, attack looters. Kill looters, fight in battles, you'll organically get influenced by winning battles. Really simple. Number two, go to a city or a castle and then go to the keep and you can go to the dungeon and you can donate prisoners and that will increase your influence by a ton. Also, you can go to a nearby village, recruit really cheap troops and donate the troops to the garrison. And then that will also increase your influence a ton. So with those three things, I bet we'll be able to get to 150 influence or close to 150 by the end of this episode. Also, of course, I, I also want to get a workshop by the end of the episode. So we'll see if we're going to be able to do that. We'll definitely get closer. That's for sure. And really quick, I know we have a very expensive prisoner. We're going to go ahead and just cash out on her we're gonna just sell her because she could easily escape and then we're out a thousand gold so problem solved she's she's not our problem anymore and we're gonna start this episode off with a juicy siege battle there's a siege going on against this castle over here so we're gonna quickly rush over that way before we do anything else and then after the siege battle i'm gonna kind of go through the example of how to increase your influence you know i'm gonna show you like hands-on what you can do, how I'm going to do it. Maybe there's a better way, but this is a way that I find to work pretty well. Uh, so let's just con join the continuing siege. Oh, they got 200 troops in here. That's actually a decent amount of men. So this is going to be a fairly big battle considering the numbers. They could, you know, inflict a lot of casualties on our forces. So this is going to be a pretty tricky siege. We'll, we'll see how it plays out. Okay, so here we are on the battlefield. And to our right, we have a siege tower. To our left, by that tree over there, we have a siege tower. And in the center, we have a ram. So we're pretty much set in terms of all the locations where you can attack with siege equipment. The question is, where do we want to attack? Where do we want to help out? Well, this is the castle, and it looks stunning. This castle looks... It just looks intimidating from here, you know? It's like, it's so proud up on this hill. It's going to be tough to take. So I think I'm going to go to the right. And help out over there and try to push through now if you look at the design of this castle you can see that there's a long wall you see that long wall on the left that's gonna be full of archers shooting down at our troops trying to break through the gate so if we can quickly rush down the right 
break through, we'll be behind the troops holding the gate, and at the same time, the troops pushing up the ram will break through the, the you know, from the front of the gate, and we'll hit them from two sides. If not, we can just break through all of that and then go all the way to the left and clean up the uh, left wall, uh, you know, helping out the, uh, the, the, you know, the troops on the left to push it, that are pushing, why am I, I'm having a tough time explaining this, okay. Anyways, long story short, we're going to charge in here, we're going to kill them, okay, is that good enough? We'll just go with that. All right, so the siege tower is uh, now almost in position. I'm going to go ahead and lead the charge, guys. I'm going to get right behind the siege tower. As soon as it's in place, I'm going to charge up this ladder. Be the first one, all right? Well, kind of. I'm not going to be super crazy and just jump into an enemy force, but I kind of want to lead the way. By the way, here's a little fun fact. You can just hang behind this. I'm not even pushing up. I'm getting dragged up. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Battle time. Let's see what's waiting for us. Come on, men. Up this tower. Up this tower. Glory awaits. And a castle. This is going to be the great Southern Empire's castle now. Ooh, so you can get up here and you can actually press, I think, E? Yeah, or I'm sorry, F to bring it down. But I'm going to let the AI do it. And oh boy. That's a big force. And we're going to throw as many jabbies into, hit, into them as possible. Try to soften them up. Let's wait for more reinforcements to get up here, guys. Don't get too crazy. Oh, geez. All right, let's take my spear out and try to hit the flank. Oh, oh. oh this is perfect. Nice. We are crushing this flank. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, they kind of pushed us back there a little bit. They are all smushed up up there. I wish they would kind of space out. A, I know they're trying to hold this position, but like with a spear wall. But I mean, I wish there were some troops kind of sitting back in reserve. Oh, gotcha. Just got a, like a serpent or like a, a scorpion and it's poisonous uh, tail. We've got a strike when we see the opportunity. Ah! Come on. Ow, what the heck was that? I just took 43 damage. Oh, it must be the archers over there. I swear, if I die to archers. Oh yeah, there's, no, was it archers? I don't know. It might be. Come on, we need more men up here. Come on, guys. I'm just, there's so many of us, it's hard. Hey, don't, don't take my tactic of stabbing in the flank. Oh boy, I pushed too hard. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? Why won't you die? Oh, there we go. And look at... Oh, we're storming the gate. Come on, guys. Push. What are you doing? Don't just stand there. Storm the gatehouse. I'm going to hit the rear of these guys. Ugh. Oh, I missed with my spear. Okay, there we go. Woo! You're not going anywhere, buddy. Push! Oh my god, what a fight. What a fight. Alright, these are all friendlies in here. There's, oh, there's archers up here. Stop them, they're killing our brothers in arms. So what I like to do when we're blobbing up like this, I'm just going to shield bash them. Yeah. Shield bash, knock them back. Let someone else get the kill. Level up the troops. Ah! Come on, just push behind them. Come on, dude. You, there we go. Push. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna get this ballista guy. Your day is over. Your time is over. Oh! Good job, Jim. Oh, that was the victory. Yes. Put put the Southern Empire's flag on the tower. It's ours, boys. We conquered it. Woo! That's fun. Siege battles are so much fun. Now, unfortunately, we lost six men. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Sometimes you just get unlucky. Sometimes you lose no one in these big siege battles, and sometimes you lose, like, half your, half your force. But they died for a noble cause. 
Yeah, we saved your necks again. No worries. Uh, we got some... Wait, we got 12 prisoners? Holy crap. Okay, and we got some troops who are leveling up. So, we're just one troop there. So that's awesome. And we got some good equipment. Nothing too crazy. Some, sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll get like a piece of, of equipment that's worth like a thousand gold or something. But, no, not today. That's fine. So, now let me show you guys... Um, once we're out of this screen, there we go. Now let me show you guys what, how the getting the influence up is, how it's going to work. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so we earn three influence right there. That's awesome. Three influence, just, you know, attacking that settlement. But that's nothing compared to what we're about to do. So we're going to go ahead, recruit any unit that's 50 or less gold. Because I feel like at the current amount of gold we're making... Uh, you know with our passive income thanks to the workshops we can kind of afford that I'm not trying to you know we are trying to save money you know we can't spend too much because I do want to get our fourth workshop by the end of this episode Ooh, there's some looters we could attack the looters but a lot of my troops are injured so I'm just gonna avoid the looters from now for for now you can take looters as prisoners <clears throat> excuse me you can take them as prisoners but uh, I'll show you what you can do with it already showed you what you do with the prisoners you donate them But we have plenty of prisoners. I guess I'm a little scatterbrained. I don't know. I'm like I'm all over the place today It's cool. It's cool. I, I think that was just that siege battles got me all hyped up. That was awesome So there's you pay to oh hey, we leveled up. Oh nice pull arm standard bearer plus 15% morale uh, morale to troops in formation at the start of the battle. Whoa cool uh, I'm not sure how exactly that works I guess when we're just like holding the line that's how that works uh, did we recruit troops here no not yet okay so more more troops to recruit recruit let's go to the the village back here we'll try to visit as many villages as possible so recruit um, nobody here worth it so let me now show you how quickly all right pay attention to this little influence influence button right here how quickly we're, we're about to rise. We're about to get famous in these lands, all right? So here we go, to the city. We'll first get rid of the, the we're gonna donate troops to them. So we'll go all the way to the bottom. We have 16 tribesmen we recruited, boom. Get rid of all of them. And we'll also get rid of the recruits here. So there's the two recruits, there's the 16 tribesmen. Watch the influence, ready? Boom, 59. We went from 43 to 59. And you saw after that glorious siege battle, that only moved us up three. So this is a really important way of gaining influence. And donating prisoners does about the same thing. So we've got 12 prisoners. Boom, 72. 72 influence, just like that. And that's what I mean. Like, we'll easily hit 150 if everything keeps going well. Um, so here's some looters over here we can... Well, we're actually low on troops. You know what? Let's play it safe. Let's play it safe. Let's see. Can we recruit? Well, we could recruit these troops and sell them somewhere else or donate them somewhere else. Uh, we'll just wait here for some time. Uh, we. Oh, you know what? We need some food. We need grain. Definitely want to keep the spirits high. You don't want your troops to go hungry and they'll lose morale. So let's go to trade. Oh, also we have things we need to trade. So, you know, we constantly want to keep killing... Uh, looters and whatnot to keep up with our money because we're you know we're always buying recruits to give away so we want to try to keep up with that so we got a thousand gold right there boom perfect uh, but I do need to get the the grain which I forgot about so here we go how much is the grain 23 gold wow they push a hard bargain but you know what that's good enough three hundred dollars worth of grain here you go it's like they, uh, you know, the recruits, they saw that I spent uh, 300 gold on food. They're like, oh, 300 gold on food? Maybe he got olives and grapes and delicious food. Let's see what he's got in the food cart. Oh, just grain? You're like, oh, geez, how expensive was that grain? Was it blessed by the Pope? You know, like, what? Uh, so I will just um, let my troops fight this one. Should be pretty easy. Two wounded, no big deal. And we got some prisoners. Again, keep keep killing those looters. It's just like, tr it's tr a triple threat. It, or it's a double threat. You get one, you get loot. Or no, it's a triple threat. You get the loot for money. And then two, you get some prisoners. And then three, you get influence for uh, just fighting the battle. So, 
you're going to increase influence so quickly. If you're playing your personal game, you know, your campaign, and you're having issues with influence, this is the best way to do it. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and recruit these soldiers too since we lost a couple in that siege battle. And here's some looters over here. Just gobble them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're running exactly where I want you to. Perfect. Right to the water. <laughs> and again, I'm just going to release the hounds here and let my troops go at it. Send them. Perfect. No casualties whatsoever. And we got morale. We got influence. We got a prisoner. And most importantly, we got some loot. And we'll keep going. And again, if you see any, you know, looters hanging around, take them down. Take them down. It builds up. It adds up. And... It's really simple. All we're going to do, you see the empire? We're just going to slowly go recruit, kill, recruit, kill, recruit, kill. And we'll go all these cities. And I'm assuming by the time we get through all of them, we're going to have enough for a workshop. And we're going to have over 150 uh, influence, which is going to be perfect. Now, I don't know the amount of influence you need to get a city. But we're just going to keep getting influence until we earn that city. Uh, so again, if you guys know, tell me. Tell me what number I should shoot for in terms of influence to start winning votes for the cities we conquer. Uh, well, let's go to the keep, the dungeon, donate prisoners. We got four of them. Let's see how many four. How how much influence will we get for four? Oh, uh, we got two. Not bad. Not p for four looters. They're worth about half an inf in half an influence each. I don't know. That was really hard for me to say. I don't know why. Uh, let's now... Didn't we get some recruits? Yeah. We got some tribesmen we're going to send over and a recruit here. Beautiful. Awesome. I think that's all of our weak troops that we're going to donate. Boom. We're at 82. And we're going to trade with all the loot we got from the looters. 200 gold. It, it, you know, it adds up. And um, we also have some troops that need to be uh, leveled up. So just level them up. The more we level them up, the stronger our army's going to get. Sure, it's going to get more expensive, but that's okay. So let's go, to the, let's go to the city over here, or the village, I should say. Hello, here to take your young, young, young children, I guess. Not really, young men to go fight in some wars. Is that okay? Actually, they got it pretty good. You know, they're like, oh no, I'm being recruited into this this vassal. He's new. He doesn't really know what he's doing. <laughs> you know, he could send me to my death. It's like, oh no, okay, I, I, I will garrison this city. That's fine. I'll do that. An army was just uh, summoned. So that's interesting. Maybe there's a big battle that's going to happen that we can join in on. But let's recruit these guys up here. And then we'll shift over to the next position which is over to that village up there and let's just make sure everything's okay in the kingdom as we're doing this you don't need us do we there's no oh my god you've got to be kidding me guys just like i said just like i said who look who's attacking us the the mongol type faction the kuzites kuzites they are attacking us and we're still at war with we're almost at war with everyone. We got the we got the south the southern war. Oh no no no. Okay, good. We're at peace. Look at this. We're at peace with the uh, the the Badians. So, we just have the north. I mean, we're still surrounded by enemies, but I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. I think we're going to lose some territory. I don't know if this is like a balancing system in the game where it's like, whoa, you know, one faction's getting too strong. Let's get every other faction to attack it. And try to weaken it a little bit. And that might be the case. But this is why we need to hurry up. And we need to get ourselves a castle or a city. Whatever it takes to get a nice city. Start making money and build a strong army. Because we are surrounded and we're under threat from every direction. So let's keep going this way. There is a city over here that we can quickly go to. I haven't seen any looters. Which is a bit of a bummer. We've got a caravan, but I don't think we're quite strong enough to take on a caravan. I'm very protective of my soldiers, and I don't want them to, you know, obviously get slaughtered. Now, what? Did we get any? Okay, I guess we got a couple recruits that we can donate to this, this uh, city here. So let's let's go to the keep and donate troops. Yeah, we got five tribesmen, which is not too bad. Anything else? 
No, I mean, everything else I kind of need for my forces, so. That moved us up to 86. That's pretty good. Now, again, we are losing money when we do this because we're buying these recruits and just giving them away. And it is affecting our, our economy a little bit. Like, we would be really close. Oh, oh, there we go. Hold on. Let's, let's see if there's any. Oh, perfect. Nice. Let's grab these recruits. Let's go fight this army of 17, which I'm probably going to battle this one because they have so many forces. I don't want to risk losing anybody to, like, wounds because it does take a long time to recover from wounds uh, like your soldiers and we need a full strength army at all times just in case we have a you know tricky situation so oh here we go cool map let's take the move. archers you guys are going to move, move here yeah you can get a little closer move. to the infantry i just want to make sure nothing's standing in their way uh cav let's actually move Put you up on that hill hard. there you go all right hey i got that extra morale right there we go there's the enemy all right, infantry, infantry, I want actually you to forward. move up a little bit. Forward. Right there. Open fire, lads. Let's see if we can get lucky and get a jabby throw. That's way too short. Oh, that's still way too short. Dang it. All right, cab infantry charge. Attack. There they go. All right, I'm just terrible with the jabbies. <laughs> right, we'll go ahead and charge in. I don't think so. You're going to throw rocks at me? What the heck? I am just... Ow. I am missing everything. Except for those. <laughs> Running down retreating forces. All right. Good victory there. No casualties whatsoever. And we got six prisoners. That's going to be perfect. So that's why you got to go for the looters. Getting those prisoners and donating them to dungeons. So good. It's so good for, uh, you know, building up your... Your influence and we're at 7,000 gold which is great um a couple looters over there but let's see if we can recruit nah nothing there too expensive let's go check the other village uh oh what's this royal guard vote for royal guard what is this do you want to resolve royal guard decision huh I don't know what this is. See, the ruler maintains a prestigious guard force. It attracts warriors who might otherwise serve their local lord. Oh, it attracts warriors who might otherwise serve their local lord. So I guess it pulls away from the local lords and like elite soldiers would go to the ruler. I mean, it sounds really cool, right? <sighs> Ruler party size is increased by 80. Ruler clan gains one influence per day. Non-ruling clans lose... Uh, they lose influence? See, I'm not a ruling... Uh, this isn't good. I need my influence. So I'm going to say no, actually. So... Yeah. Wait, you need to select... Oh. I have to spend... Uh, I'm not voting then. I'm not, it's fine. It's going to be no anyways, but I'm not spending influence to vote. Yeah, no to that because I don't want to lose influence. And also I feel like noble lords or local lords should have their elite warriors with them. It would be nice to have our ruler to have a big army of 80, but at the same time, it doesn't really help us out that much, which is fine. Um, okay, so I guess there was nothing in that, that village. There's another village up here that we can check out. And we'll go go see if there's any some you know fresh recruits that are cheap that we can just send to a garrison. And uh, there's one. There's one. We could have recruited those archers too, but that's fine. Let's just go to this city. We got some loot. Oh, oh, oh. This is going to be fun. Hello, where are you going? Where are you going, cutie? You're going to fight. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> All right, so let's take him on. Uh, you know, it's it's getting to the point where it's fun chasing down looters. You know, before, like, give it like a couple episodes ago, I was terrified of looters. You know, it's like, oh, God, they're, they're still so strong. All right, let's get the archers Over. up here. They got a good view. Move. Infantry, move up move. here. Cav to the flank. All right.
Okay, let's stop putting the shield away. I'm going to stand behind my men. I like to throw volleys from here. Come on, archers. Soften them up. The trees aren't exactly helping us. Oh, this poor guy's getting wrecked. All right. Cav. Charge. There's a big gap in the lines. All right, infantry. Charge. Are you you took an arrow to the head and a stab from my lance and you survived? Come on, give me a break. All right, we won the battle, no casualties. We were close to a casualty. One of my recruits was getting nailed. And we got some prisoners. Oh, and we got some empire peasants, but I don't think empire peasants gain you any influence when you donate them to a garrison, so I'm just going to not worry about that. Um, we have eight prisoners. Oh, a camel. All right. See, sometimes the looters can hook you up with some good loot. I will certainly take that. And let's go trade. Oh, wait. There's more juicy loot right around the corner. It must be Christmas, folks, because there's just ripe looters ready for the picking. So let's just uh, let's kill them. Okay. I'll attack this one too. I've been having, I don't know what it is, but it's fun just slaughtering looters and it's not even close, you know? Uh, so let's, same, same Fort tactic. Dark. We'll move the infantry Fort. a little to the uh, left, Arch the archers a little back to Fort. the right, and then a cav Fort to the far, Forward. far left. Move. All right, we're, get, we're gonna get lucky here and just, rah. come on, come on. Ah. Not yet, Cav. Cav. Charge. Infantry. Charge. All right, here we go. Don't you throw rocks at my horse. You will be punished with death. Oh, God. Another victory. No casualties. And that's another reason why I like to fight the battles out because I know for sure there's not going to be any casualties, you know. It's very simple. Um, we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Because sometimes you get the RNG, like, you know, you just send your troops in and, oh, four of them were injured against looters and now you're four men down. And when you have an army of, like, 21 soldiers, four guys down is a lot. Uh, so let's go to the keep, uh, go to the dungeon. We've got a lot, 10 prisoners. And, ooh, we're three away from 100. And then let's donate to the garrison, which we've got five recruits. So we're just going to slide across here. And that should, yep, we're at 100. Perfect. We did it, guys. 100 influence. That's awesome. And we've got some juicy trade. Ju I'm going to keep the camel, though. I, I like the camel. I like the camel. But look at that wine. 136 for wine. Perfect. Oh, we get a thousand gold. Okay. So we we met our goal of a hundred. That was our min goal, right? A hundred, our max being 150. So we can keep oh, looters. <laughs> oh, it's like a dog with with oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, that's scary though. Don't want to face that army. It's like a dog with a squirrel, like, huh, oh, squirrel. Huh, oh, looters. Let's get these looters. Come on. Oh, this guy raiding? What a jerk. All right, yeah, there we go. I might just uh, send the troops in here. We got a pretty heavy advantage over them. So let's just send in the troops. And sure enough, as soon as I do that, we got three casualties, which are wounded soldiers. It's all right. We got a lot of prisoners. Uh, more camels. Yes. Awesome. I don't know why I'm so excited for the camels, but I am. Uh, let's see. Let's see our party. We got some leveling up to do. Yes. Much needed leveling up. Ooh, we got an Imperial Cataphrag. Let's put him all the way on the top. And uh, it's going to cost a little cash, but you know what? Let's see. Is there a city on the way? Well, let's just hold on to our loot and our prisoners. And we'll we'll move on to the next city. Um, Got a couple of cheap recruits that we can... Oh, there's a party of eight. We're coming. We're coming for you. There's also looters of, uh, 19 looters over there. 
Uh, I'll just charge in the troops. I swear, if any of my forces get injured, just send the troops. Four! What the heck? Oh my god, that is ridiculous. And we got one prisoner. How annoying. See, now we're weak. Now we have 12, and I saw an army of... There's 19 looters. We can still beat them. But still, it's just kind of like, come on. I don't want to fight at night. I'm going to wait until it's daytime. Ooh, that's a lot of looters over here. All right, now we'll go in. Well, it's still kind of day nighttime. All right, let's 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 attack them now. We're still only at 12. You see how long it takes? Oh, look at the balance of power, too. Ah, we got to fight this one. We got to fight this one. It's They just got too many. And the RNG of just charging in, it's crazy. Here, archers get up here. Infantry, Infantry here, Infantry, cav, boom. up here. Let's go, guys. Move it. Get them hell. Give them hell, archers. We're outnumbered today, boys. We're outnumbered. <laughs> please get me a kill. Please, 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 please. Oh. Come on, archers. Get some kills. All right, cab, charge. Oh, I thought that was going to get a kill. Oh, my jabby throws were trash. Ooh, they're feisty. Get them, infantry, get them. Oh no, they injured one of my uh, recruits. That's okay. That's kind of to be expected. Alright. Not bad. So, uh, we actually took two. Oh, an Imperial Legionary got injured. Well, that's right. We still won at the end of the day. We got some prisoners. And we'll also get oof, some goodies. Okay, we've got a lot of horses too. All right. Well, we I would love to chase down this army of 19 uh, looters over there, but I guess we could. Yeah, I say we go for it. We can do it. We can do it. We got to get that loot. It it adds up. But we just, you know, we can do it, but I got to I got to be on the battlefield. Yeah, we're almost outnumbered 2 to 1. What a, I love these battlefields. They look so cool. All right, you're the best the Empire has, man. You brave men are my war ban. All right, you know what? I might send in the Cav early. Go get them, Cav. You're a cataphract. A cataphract against looters. It's just that Cav moves quickly, you know? So it's hard to hit them. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting some kills. Good job, archers. Let's get a lucky jabby throw. Come on. Oh, I thought that was going to hit someone. All right, infantry. Charge. I'm coming with you. I loved how he gave that charge order with this shield. That was looked pretty cool. Oh, that's a big blob. All right, archers also charge. Alright, can't let them gang up on my soldiers. Oh, they're breaking. I think we did really well here. Nice job, guys. Nice job. I think one got away. Seven prisoners. Woo! No casualties. That's what I like to see. Alright, we're doing really well. Pretty soon. I think once we put in all this loot in the prisoners and everything... We're going to have 150 influence. Maybe not 150, but... Oh, there's another group of looters. I swear, man. It's just looter Christmas day. And we're really slow because we have so much crap. We're carrying around... We got, like, carts and carts and carts of looter, looter crap. You know? It's just full of stuff. All right, let's kill these guys. Come on. Um, let's... 
Uh, I'll attack here. Let's just make sure we win this without any count. We can't afford any more casualties or it's really going to hold us up. The sun is setting. Let's end the day with a glorious battle, Archer! folks. So let's do it. In in day game, I don't mean at the. This isn't the end of the video, by the way. I mean at the end of the day in the game. Uh, uh, oh, cap. Go to the flank. I love how I love giving orders with the shield up. That looks so cool. All right, let's get lucky. Come on, come on. One of these days, I'm gonna land amazing javi toss. There we go. That was pretty good. It was a headshot. Oh, that would have been a hit. All right, cab charge in, infantry charge. Let's go. I hate when you throw rocks at my horse. I really do. All right, the cab art. Oh, beautiful. Good job, cataphract. Man, we just need to get like a hundred of those cataphracts and we're going to be unstoppable. <laughs> All right, always fun to run them down. All right, six more prisoners. We might have too many prisoners. Let's see, what are we at? Ooh, yeah, we can only get one more. Well, that's all we can get, and we got more loot. Are you ready? For, are you ready to cash this in? Look at this. This is gonna be juicy. First, let's start with the loot. I'm curious, how much we got? How much we got? Ooh, a thousand five hundred. I will take that any day. And then let's go to the keep. And do we have any recruits? Yeah, we got two who are injured. <laughs> take them. You guys can heal up here, defend the garrison, defend the city. 16. Oof. Yeah, we're getting close to 150. So let's just take a second. Look at the world map here. And oh dear, they took one of our cities. Wait, don't we have a workshop in this city? Oh, this isn't good. See, I feel helpless against this kind of situation because we have both we have both the north, the, the Sturgians, and the, the the Mongol type factor just hitting us. And I don't have an army to really help out. Sure, I could join an army, but I want to have like 50 strong men be able to kind of raid and do like behind the lines tactics, hit and run tactics, you know, take out smaller armies, that kind of stuff. But I feel like I'm just not there yet. And it's frustrating because I want to be. So what are we doing? We need to get more gold. That's what it comes down to. More gold. Uh, you know what? We can also see what we can do for recruitment. Oh, hello. Let's get all of you guys. And let's check out some of these villages. And I might avoid some battles for a little while. Ooh, 15 mountain bandits. Mountain bandits are pretty tough. I could get more archers. You can never have enough archers. Well, let's get one more. Let's get these recruits too. I don't want to spend too much because we're getting very close. Very, very close to getting, uh, yeah, our own, uh, another workshop. Let's get you. Uh, so curious though. Do we have, okay, so no, the city that they took, we don't have a workshop in, but does that matter? I don't know. I, I think, cause it's not like our business isn't necessarily faction related. So if they take that city, I don't know. I think it'll be all right. I think we're going to be fine. Our businesses will be fine. Even if they, if we lose a couple cities. So, let's see. Is there any recruits here? Ooh, I would love to get some more horsemen, but they're really expensive. I say, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, that really hurt our, our cash there a little bit, but we're going to be super strong. All right. Now, we need to look for more looters. Ooh, mountain bandits. Let's go for it. This will give us a ton of loot. 20, 17 mountain bandits. All right. We got to be careful. I don't want the forest bandits in there, though. Kind of have to wait. Let's wait for daytime, too. No, no. Here. Just, what do you guys, you guys rolling together or something? There you go. Separate. There you go. Perfect. Boom. 
All right, let's see what we can do. Surrender or die. Look how he's so smug. He's like, you're going to kill me? I don't think so. Oh, I think so. I think so, buddy. I'm going to take all your loot, and I'm going to take prisoners, and I'm going to sell. I'm gonna donate them so I can get better influence, all right? So we're going to attack this one. We've had a lot of battles. Now, sure, they're not epic big battles, but they are very important. All right, archers. archers. Get up on this hill. Forward. Wait, that's this is all the archers we have? Seriously? It, and I just recruited Forward. two of them. Wow, we got a lot of infantry, huh? Footman. Now, a lot of them are recruits. We might lose a couple recruits. Here, Cav. Charge in. Let's deal with their their forces. Now we're getting ourselves a, a pretty nice Cav force. Ugh. Oh, nice. Oh, that's way too far. Don't throw at my forces. Hey. Dang it. Don't get away from my archers. Oh, how did I miss? Oh, I hit him. There you go. You're dead. You jerk. All right, infantry, charge. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's bad. Woo, we took some damage there. We took some heat. Nice job, Cav. Yeah, get wrecked. All right. Uh, archers, you can go ahead and charge, too. Woo, 91 damage. Come on, Cav. Get in there. Clear these bandits out. Oops. <laughs> Nice. Uh, we lost two soldiers and two wounded. Uh, but it was recruits. Not a big deal. That's what happens. You know, sometimes you'll recruit, you know, it's weird saying this. You'll recruit recruits and they'll die. You know, they're not very good, but only the best will move on. Oh, long fine spear. Yes. Okay. This is going to give us enough gold to get our workshop. All right, so I know some of you guys will be like, whoa, Apollo, just keep the spear. It's so good. I know. I know it's good, but this is an investment, all right? We're going to invest in our workshops, and the workshops will make us tons of um, profit in, or um, not profit. Well, it will make us profit, but passive income is what I was going for. Uh, so let's trade. Again, we're going to say bye to the spear. I know it's really good, but look at this loot. Oh, oh, that's some good loot. We're still not quite there for a workshop, but we're getting really close. And then let's um, go to the keep and let's donate the soldiers that we got. Our recruits. Done. And then let's go to the dungeon and donate the prisoners. And that will put us at 133. So let's try to get enough gold as quickly as possible to get our last... We're at one thir we're at 13k. So we probably just need like another thousand. But they're pushing hard on us. I mean, these are troubling times in the empire, but at, at the same time, we're doing pretty good. Up oh, 14 looters. That might be that might be it. That might be yep. Let's help the villagers. So let's just send the troops in. Nice. Uh four injured, but that's not my party, so Nice. When we improved our relations with a bunch of people. Unfortunately, we didn't get much out of that, though. We didn't get any loot because we had to share it with them. Oh, I think we saw something over here. Mountain bandits. Oh, come on. Forest bandits? Nah. Oh, what's this? Another feudal inheritance? Another decision here. Okay, feudal inheritance. States with strict informal laws to of inheritance make it more difficult to revoke land. The cost of revoking a, 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 fief, a fief from a clan is doubled. The clan gets plus 0.2 influence each each uh, fief or town they have. If, if fief? Is it fief? Fife? Fief? I don't, I'm drawing a blank here. I'm, I probably sound like an idiot. Um, I'm just going to abstain from voting. I don't want to spend any of our influence. 
Okay, cool. That's fine. That's not really important to us. Oh, here's some looters. An army is being formed. Which is good. I hope we're marching out and dealing with the enemy. What? Wait, what is this? This is different. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just like rushed through that dial. It's different. What did I miss there? Surrender or die. To be honest, I don't want to die. We could take... Wait, oh my god. You could take us on as hired fighters. That way everyone gets what they wanted. Very well, you may join us, but keep an eye on you. No, no. Yeah, no. No, you're gonna die. <laughs> Sorry. I don't even want you in my army. And they injured two of my soldiers, unfortunately. But we got two of their prisoners. That's fine. I'm gonna hold off on the upgrades with my troops. Because some of my troops are ready for upgrade. I'm gonna hold it off so I can save some money. So we can get our, uh, you know, our, our workplace. Our next workshop is what I'm trying to say. Oh, here we go. Nine looters. That's a good amount. Here we go. Rush into battle. And dead. And once again, we'll just throw in our troops here we might take a couple casualties but we're no yeah just one just one and was it who was it oh it's some oh it's a veteran infantry okay and we'll take the looters i might just sell the looters um or like you know use the go to the tavern and ransom the the looters because i kind of need the money because i want to build our workshop there's more looters over here. It's not worth it. Four is just not worth it. Four of our warriors are injured. Here's the main army. Interesting. Interesting. Where are they headed? Let's check out where that army's headed. Traveling uh, to besiege a castle. Let's see. Where is this? Oh, that's not... So, I've noticed something about the game. It's a little bug, but when you have a little, like, when you go to the armies and you want to see where they're going, make sure you're zoomed in into the campaign world, and then it'll shift you over. See, now it shifts us over there. And they're going for that castle? Really? Really? You're going to run through enemy territory? All this territory to get this castle? I, dude, I got a bad feeling about I've got a bad feeling about the uh, the Empire right now. We were at a high and now we're instantly at a low So let's just sell the prisoners 25 gold not really worth it. Honestly, I should have just donated them And that's 200 gold there. Okay, so we're at f about 14 K What's what city doesn't have a workshop in it? I don't think we have one here. Let me check my list of workshops yeah, we don't. So, let's start. Let's head our way over back to that beautiful city on the coast there. It's going to be a great workshop. It's going to be a great place to, uh, you know, do some work and have a shop and make it a workshop. Um, and hopefully we'll get enough passive income to build an army of 50. That's my goal. Ooh, oh my god. Caravan. Now, let's kill these looters just in case we need a couple more, a couple more gold. Ooh, is that an army of 19 looters? Okay. Yeah, we're going to kill all these looters. And there we go. Victory. No casualties, which is perfect. We need that because we're about to take on that army of 19 up here who's stuck on the cliff. Come here. Come here. Where are you going? You're going nowhere. All right. So we'll fight this one. I love killing looters. I don't know what it is, man. It's You get to a point where you hate them. You know, at the start of the battle, the looters are scary. But then eventually they're just sad little, Forward. sad little children. Alright, infantry move. move up there. Cav, infantry. let's get you way on the Forward. flank like I like it. There you go. The archers are going to try to soften them up as much as possible before we charge in the cav. We should try to get some more companions too. Well, that was a good range there. I think that almost hit them. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was close. All right, Cav, charge. I'll support the charge, too. All 
Alright, I'm just kind of buying time for the archers. Oh, get wrecked. 103 damage. Get wrecked. Hey, get away. Alright, infantry charge. Hey, stop stabbing at my... Ah, bastard. Get him, infantry. There you go. All right, excellent. That should give us plenty of loot to be able to get our fourth workshop. And we got some prisoners that will increase our um, influence. So let's go ahead and make our way to the next city that's going to have our workshop. And guys, after this episode, we might want to focus on supporting the Empress and dealing with enemies uh, because it's going to be scary. Uh, we are surrounded by enemies, so let's go to the keep. Um, do we have any troops to donate? No, we don't. It's a habit going into donate troops. We don't. We want to donate prisoners. We got four. All right, we're at 140. We're 10 away from our max goal of 150, and then we will do our trading here. Ooh, a thousand gold, and we will go into the city center and build our workshop. All right, so another beautiful city. Um, it, honestly, it looks more beautiful on the campaign map because it's like on the beach. It kind of looks kind of dark and dreary over here. Uh, but there is a carpentry, a carpenter over here, which we're going to go ahead and buy this. Uh, we're just going to keep up with the, the carpenter theme. It seems like when we open up carpenter shops, they do way better. Wait, this guy has a mission. Hold on. Where's... Where's the shopkeeper? Teenager? <laughs> what? Alright, where's Townsman? Is this not a shop? Oh. Oh, this isn't- Okay, I'm, an, I'm a dummy. That's a person who gives out a quest. That's not- That's not an actual shop. Alright, well, we'll go to the brewery. <laughs> People are gonna hate us. We buy a brewery, and then we're gonna turn it into carpet- uh, Into a carpenter, like a woodworking, you know, place. Like, hey, you know, can I get an ale? It's like, sir, we- We- We make chairs now, okay? <laughs> We make chairs. We don't sell drinks anymore. It's like, just get me a drink, dang it. I've had a tough day. The empire is surrounded by enemies. All right, so I'd like to buy this. Oh, what? We're just shorts. Okay, well, I'm going to just off camera because we're running out of time and I want to get this workshop. Off camera, I'm going to get enough gold. We're just short and then we're going to buy it. Well, I just pulled a stupid, guys. It wasn't a money issue. It, it's I, I'm only allowed three workshops at my current level I assume I have to get my clan level to three to get another workshop But yeah, I'm at my limit. It doesn't say anywhere that I can I can only you know can only have three But right now our workshops are making a lot of money um, We have 16 K in the bank that we're just gonna kind of hold on to as as long as possible so yeah, I guess we're not going to get the workshop after all, but we of course will go to the tavern and this time go into the tavern. It's not really a time of celebration, but rather a time of concern. So I'm going to be that, you know, kind of rugged lord that's sitting alone at the table. Everybody else is kind of having a good time, but I'm looking like kind of concerned and thinking of like, hmm, what are we going to do? What are we going to do with this crisis on every side of our border, surrounded by enemies? Well, what are we going to do, guys? I think we're going to build up an army for next episode, and it's time to get aggressive. We're going to fight in some big battles next episode, so I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching this one. This was a lot of fun. We got our influence up, we got some coin, and we're going to be ready for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on the battlefield.